Yo, welcome back. Today this short video is going to be on resources I use for capturing the anatomy of my subjects. This particular book here, An Atlas of Animal Anatomy for Artists. I, it has 288 illustrations. I purchased mine on Amazon.com and it, the price on it was roughly about $12 give or take. I think that was a, for a new book and these are paperbacks. And let me just focus on the dog section of this here. This particular book will have the anatomy of the dog, the lion, the goat, the bull, uh, what else? A few other things. The horse. Um, for this here, let's just focus on this. Let me back this up here quite a bit. Okay, here we go. This is better. Here, you can see it shows you a nice profile of the dog along with the pattern of the uh, fur. And we have the muscle structure here. Bones. You'll get this is the bottom portion of the dog along with the uh, muscle sections of the dog there. You get a front view showing the muscle mass along it also with the uh, skeleton along with the uh, rear portion of it showing your tail, your set. You get a bird's eye view. The front and rear. It also shows you the uh, detail of the legs, the paws, their claws. There's some more leg images. You also get a close-up of the paw here underneath. We have the hind in the front. So here's another angle. And here we have the rear legs showing the bone where it lines up. And this is pretty awesome. Nice head shot showing the skeleton, the skull there. We also have images of the nose, the teeth. And this one also we have the eyeball the ear set there, what it actually looks like in the inside of the ear there. And I will not cover the lion today since I would not, I will save that for some other day since I'll be working on the lion sometime next month. But in addition to that, let me share with you this skeleton I purchased on eBay. It's a very cool resin skeleton I picked up on eBay. I think I paid about $49 for it. It came up without a skull, which doesn't really matter. This is probably the size of a small French Bulldog. And it comes in handy when I'm sculpting, lets me know exactly the proportions of certain bones. But keep in mind, depending on what breed you're working on, the size, the length, it's going to vary. So that's it for now. I will get this up on YouTube, also on my site here on Ustream slash um, Hands of Caesar. 